Now, while that's creating, we can now create our virtual machine. So up here, click on create VM. And we're gonna call this Windows 11. Not gonna bother with any of this stuff uh, as well. Don't really care about startup and shutdown order. For the ISO, we've selected our ISO, so Windows 11. And in the type, we're gonna go Microsoft Windows, and then you have 1122. So leave that as is and click next. Now, you will see because we selected Windows 11 here that a lot of this stuff is already checked for us. So we don't even need to really worry about it, okay? EFI storage is gonna ask us to select where we want that storage. I'm gonna say I want it on our VDisk's video location, which we created is our share on TrueNAS. And TPM storage, also gonna put it in that same location, okay, VDisk video. Pre-enroll keys, EFI disk, all of that is all good. Click next. Uh, one 32 gig disk, I might just say 50. Let's say 50 gig for example, that should be fine. Go ahead and click next. For the cores, why not? Let's give it six cores. Click next. For the memory, we'll say 8192. Click next. And we have our default uh, interface card. That's fine as well. Click next and finish. Now there's one other thing we actually need to do. So what we're gonna do is just stop that virtual machine. And if you're using Windows, what you want to do is download the Vert IO drivers. Now there's an official page from Proxmox that has it all laid out. And you basically download the ISO, add it in just like we did with any other ISO. And in here, we want to add that here. So go to CD, CD and DVD drive, go to storage, wherever you keep your ISOs. And if you look down here, and it's provided by fedorapeople.org. So you can grab the ISO and uh, upload it to your server. So I'll go to ISOs here and we'll go to upload, select the file, so vert IO win and upload that. Once that's done, go back to the Windows 11 machine here and we're gonna add that CD drive. Go to the storage, ISO, and we have our vert IO drivers and click create. We should have two CD drives. Uh, one is for Windows 11, the other one is for vert IO. Click start and then quickly click console. If you have any issues starting it, make sure you go to options and then the boot order. And what we're gonna do is make sure that the Windows 11 ISO starts first, click OK, and then try and start it again. Now, if you're like me and you tried to start up the machine and you got an error like this one here, uh, that's because of using IDE. We're only allowed two IDE devices when using Q35. So what I did was actually remove the disk. So I've stopped it, removed the disk. We've made that an iSCSI. So if you go to add hard disk and you've got SCSI there rather than IDE. Um, we've got that in the correct location, so it's on our new share. And the problem is though, we have TPM and EFI disks there as well. So what we're gonna do is just remove that and let's recreate the Windows 11 VM. So we'll go Windows 11, click next. The ISO image, we are selecting the Windows 11 ISO there. The type, Microsoft Windows and 11. The machine, Q35, QMU agent, we leave off. TMP storage, we'll go VDisk video. EFI VDisk video. We'll click next. Under here, VDisk video with a size of 50 gig. And instead of IDE, we'll go SCSI. Go ahead and click next. The cores, we'll give them six, eight gig of RAM. Click next. We'll uncheck ballooning device. Click next. And that should be it. So go ahead and click next. We won't start it after creating, just finish up. And now in the hardware section, we'll click add, CD, DVD drive, storage is our ISO, and we want to add the Vert IO ISO. Okay, this is going to be important, otherwise we're going to have trouble installing the drivers necessary. So click add. So we have two drives there and we've got the disk. Once you're happy, go ahead and start it up. It kind of have to be a little snappy here, otherwise you might miss the press any key option. And if you do, just stop the VM and start it again and try and catch it. And here we are. So we're straight into the installer. Let's click next, click install now, and we'll just wait for that to go. Now, if you're familiar with Windows, you'd be used to this anyway. Um, we will select, I don't have a product key. This is just for demo purposes only. We go to uh, Pro, for example, click next. I accept, click next. We go custom. And now, as you can see, it's not gonna pick up any of, any of our disks. That's fine. Click on load driver and browse, and you'll see vert IOs there. So drop that down, go to AMD64, 
and W11 and click OK. You'll see that it picks up the pass-through controller for us, click Next, and just wait for it to install those drivers. So then this allows us to select our VDisk that we've created. So that's fine, click Next here, and just wait for Windows 11 to install. Now keep in mind that the VDisk we're using for this is located on our TrueNAS virtual machine that we have running. Okay, so we can now restart, it's restarting. We're just gonna click Escape while it's restarting to escape into the menu here. And that will allow us to just quickly stop the virtual machine without it starting. Now that it's stopped, we'll go into the install files here and we'll remove the CD DVD drive for the installer. The next thing to check real quick is if we go to options and we go to the boot order, just edit that. And we just wanna make sure that our disk is first, which it is, and you can just leave the rest as is. Go ahead and start it up again. Now, as you can see, we haven't had any issues to do with our TPM chip or anything like that. So Proxmox is taking care of that for us. And all we had to do was select the template. We didn't have to mess around with any sort of command line or trying to, trying to do any hacks to get that to work. It just works straight out of the box um, with the template that they provide us. So here we are, Windows 11 is starting up and it's gonna take us through our usual install. Now, I'm gonna just skip through this, guys, and cut to where we need it to because this is all 